The phenomenon known as Brownian motion is in honour of the Scottish botanist Robert Brown, who in 1827 noticed particles of pollen which he was examining on the surface of water with a microscope were zigzagging irregularly. Similar effects can be seen with smoke particles in air or particles of dye in water. The significance of the movement wasn't really appreciated for some time and particularly not until 1905 when Albert Einstein gave a theoretical interpretation of Brownian motion based upon molecular theory and the motion of particles in gases. In schools it's common to observe Brownian motion with a Whitley Bay smoke cell. This is a simple box containing a lamp and a small tube in which smoke can be put. The whole lot is then mounted on a microscope table so that the smoke can be seen. Here I'm demonstrating something similar, but with a USB microscope so that the effect can be recorded. The microscope has a lens cap into which I can put some smoke. The base of the lens cap has been painted black to avoid reflections from the surface. As you can see, this is not a sophisticated experiment. The smoke is simply put in from a match. The cap is put over the end of the microscope to trap some of it. And then a torch with a small focused LED is held near the microscope. This is intended to illuminate the smoke so that we can see it on the screen. To avoid extra reflections, the room is darkened. With this rather crude setup, the Brownian motion is quite difficult to see. What you're looking for are small white specks which are vibrating and dancing. The larger white specks or patches are just pieces of ash which have fallen onto the bottom of the microscope cover. The smoke particles still look absolutely tiny, but might best be seen in these places marked here. The explanation for this is that the smoke particles are being hit by very fast moving molecules of air. Because the particles of smoke are relatively small, the number of molecules striking on one side is perhaps slightly different to those striking on the other side. In this much simplified animation, the molecules of air are moving around very quickly and at random, striking the sides of the box and occasionally each other. The particles of smoke are massively bigger than the air molecules, but because they're moving so fast, they make the particle of smoke jerk and dance when it's hit. Thank you for watching.